Hello, this is Steve Olson for It's a CAD World. In this video, we're going to investigate a common request of users where they'd like to have the description automatically update as they change the size of the component. Uh, I have a very simple assembly right now with just basically a plate that has two occurrences in it. If I look at the build material in my drawing, I actually don't have any description right now. What we're going to do is we're going to manipulate that component so that its description updates with changes to the size of the part. So let's go to the part uh, to get that uh, to begin making these changes. I'm going to utilize the parameters of the piece to populate the description of the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my parameters. This piece I have just at this point just I'm using the uh, default names of the parameters but what we'll do is we'll actually change them to something more meaningful so we have uh, something to refer to so we understand what's going on besides just using D0, D1, D2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the names of these parameters just by simply clicking in the parameter name column and typing in a new name which I'm going to use length, width, and thickness. The main thing you want to look for, the main thing you want to do in these scenarios is check the box under the export parameter column. This does two things. One is it readies that parameter to be exported if we did some sort of derive or something like that. The other thing it does is it creates a custom, custom I property bearing that name. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to say done to this and go into my I properties of this component. If I go to the custom, you'll see now I have a length, thickness, and width. You'll notice right now I'm seeing three decimal places of each of those. If I want to control them, uh, so I like knock off some trailing zeros or whatever, from my parameters dialog, I can right click on the, the equation uh, of that parameter and say custom property format and here I can tell it to um, maybe exclude the trailing zeros. Uh, right now it's including the unit string. Uh, whatever I, I need to do or however I want to, uh, whatever I want to do here, I could even make it fractional uh, and change the precision. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the, the property here. Maybe I'll make it, uh, maybe I want to do fractional down to let's say a sixteenth of an inch. Um, that looks pretty good and I'll do the same thing with uh, the width property fractional sixteenth of an inch I'll turn off the unit string so it's the same as the length um, and then the thickness here uh, maybe I want to have it to three decimal places um, I'll turn off the unit string and uh, everything else looks good there I'll say okay to that so now that we have that uh, these properties set up, what we'll do is we'll go into the the description I property and we'll use basically some syntax uh, that un in Inventor understands that is supposed to pull in the actual value of the custom I property for uh, in the place uh, of the, the text I'm going to type in here. So what I'm going to type in, I'm going to type equals so equals is important because it understands that whenever it sees a certain string it's going to pull in the custom I property value as opposed to um, the, the straight text that I'm typing in. I'm going to type in PL for plate because I'm dealing with a piece of uh, steel plate here. Um, then I'm going to use the left caret or the less than sign which is on the same key as the comma and I'll say thickness this is case sensitive so be very careful that you are, uh, type it the same way that you typed it in the parameter name. I'll say x for by width length. 
So by encapsulating those custom iProperty names with carrots, I'm going to see their values show up as opposed to length, width, and thickness here. So if I say apply, it's going to then start showing me its calculated version, uh, which is PL uh, 0.25 by 2 by 4. If I want to see the equation again, this icon over here to the left, this function uh, icon, would show me the equation again. If, my, if perhaps maybe I misspelled width, uh, I could uh, fix that misspelling, so then it would start pulling the values in properly. So now if I say OK here, go over to my assembly here, make sure it's updated, then go back to my drawing. If I look here, now you'll see that it's showing what I have as a description to prove that it um, it's updating according to changes to the part. I'll go back to my plate. I'll change those parameters, get the part to change size, and then uh, go back to the drawing. So I'm going to change the length here to 5, change the width to uh, 2.25, and change the thickness to uh, 0.1875. So my parts changed now, say done, go to the assembly, make sure it updates. Over here. And now you can see it's changed according to the sizes. So that's the appropriate way to do that. Again, the key thing to remember um, is in the component, check the box for export parameter, which creates the custom I property. Then when you're in your I properties, use the equal symbol, and then encapsulate in carrots the names of the custom I properties you want to bring in. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and please continue to look for other videos on this channel. Thank you.